everybody, I'm Dan Lavallo, and we are joined by Danny Rodriguez, who is the voice of the Hartford Yard Goats on Spanish-speaking radio, and was also honored on Roberto Clemente Night here at Dunkin' Donuts Park as our hero among us serving in the United States military. Danny, first of all, congratulations on quite an honor. Thank you very much, thank you very much, Otis. Like I told you before, we uh, started an interview, I just was doing my uh, my duty, serving the country, serving my country, this is our country, and we have to preserve that democracy that we have. That this is why you find people talking what they talk, because people like, I don't know about you, but people like me and all the veterans and the ones serving, to preserve democracy. That's mm -hmm. what I serve. I feel, I feel very proud to uh, be uh, a veteran, very proud to, be, to, to serve. Now you were born where? I was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, but I came to New York when I was about 16, 17 years old, and uh, ever since I lived in the States, <laughs> so most, most of my life over here. But I never forget my language, which is Spanish, and I don't think that my language is that bad either, so we uh, we're very happy, we're very proud to be in this country. Spanish, by the way, is such a beautiful language, isn't it? It is a language that you could express yourself in different ways with the same words, okay? And a lot of people don't realize that. Unfortunately, most of the people, they like to like Spanish, but they, all, they go backwards. You know, they come to me, I speak a little blah, blah. Right away, they say something <laughs> that is not the right thing. I say, well, that's Spanish, but that's no good. <laughs> How long have you been broadcasting radio, uh, baseball in Spanish on the radio? Well, I've been, uh, excuse me, I've been doing it for a long time. I started in Puerto Rico in Little Leagues. Little Leagues? When I moved out there, yes. My, it happens to be that my sister-in-law, that she lived in Bayamon, Puerto Rico, Hilda Sawyer, she was the first woman president of Little Leagues in Puerto Rico. So when I got there, I didn't want to get involved because they said, I, said, I came over here to rest a little bit and then, no, 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 I know your background, so I want you to get it. She gave me a team. And then from there, she knew that I was in radio back here doing things here and there. And we started there back in, I don't know, 81. It's a long time, I don't know, I don't know, 81. It's a little bit ago, right? <laughs> just a few years ago. And then I did some boxing too. I did some boxing at Fox Food. Fox Food, I, um, the Cuban delegation, Olympic delegation came to, you know, to the state to uh, uh, exchange with, uh, an exchange with the uh, uh, American U.S. Olympic team. And I did that broadcasting too. I did boxing too. Wow. Amazing. Talking with Danny Rodriguez, the voice of the Yard Goats on Spanish-speaking radio. You played and coached baseball too, didn't you? I played a little bit of baseball too. I uh, and also managed double-A amateur baseball. Uh, I played in the Caribbean. I been I played in Europe, of course. I was well while, while I was in the service. Uh, you know they have tryouts for everything. Right. Even it's something that is called special services, and if you have ability to do something. They let you try out for that. And I went for the team, and I guess I must have impressed somebody <laughs> because they waited one month. Because before that, I have to do uh, guard duty no matter what for one month. So they waited for me for one month, and uh, then I, I did make the Armed Forces team in, in Europe. We went all over Europe playing baseball, yes. Oh, that, what was that experience like going all over Europe? Oh, well, it was fantastic because I didn't have the money to do it on my own. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was fantastic. I went to a lot of places, a lot of places, I, including Berlin, when they had the war, uh, that they instructed us how to act. Uh, we went by train through Berlin, east to west to east, and then east to west when we came back. And we saw, you know, the the Russian guards with with uh, with dogs, the German shepherd, big dogs, and some of the kids, you know, you know how <laughs> they were throwing oranges and it, until the the MPs, which the military police, came in. Hey, don't do that! You're gonna get into <laughs> trouble. So then we had to stop. You know how it is. Uh, we were just teasing them, uh, uh, but but it was a beautiful experience. Beautiful experience, and I met a lot of people, a lot of good people. You know. It's good to be places like that because 
you heard things, you heard this and you heard that, but until you experience that, uh, then then you could talk about it. A lot of people talk about things without opening the book. Right. You can't judge a book by its cover. You know, that's, and that's it, the beautiful people. If you're in Germany, I had a very good experience. I was very, very, very welcome in that. I never felt anything negative toward us. Before we let you go, the greatest baseball player you ever saw. Clemente, Roberto Clemente, that I ever saw because I didn't see, I never saw uh, Di Maggio and I saw, I, and they were good ball players, but Clemente, Roberto Clemente was, was, or, or I don't know, I still say, is one of the, if not the best, be but they call five tool player. He could throw, he could hit, he could run, he could hit for power, and he could hit for average. He had everything. And then he was a great person, humanitarian. A great, great person. Him and his wife, you know, last year I met his son. That's right. Came over here. Right I, here. I had the privilege to interview his son. And his son was uh, just like his father, you know. Too bad he sent a message yesterday because he couldn't be here. And his wife, I mean, his wife, in case his son, the mother, she's getting into years now and she can't travel that much. Vera. But she, uh, she, uh, she also sent a message and this is a beautiful thing. I, I encourage and I tell people, if you ever go to Puerto Rico, try to go to Ciudad Deportiva, which is created by Clemente. And there, that's when the, the kids, the Sandlots people, the one kids that they want to play baseball and they don't have the means that the doors are open for that in there. It's a great thing. Clemente was a very proud person. Yes, he was. He was a very proud person and he, he was a very smart person too. A lot of people don't know. He was he served in the military That's too. Right. Okay, he was in the Marines. He, very humanitarian. Clemente was an engineer. People didn't know that. And he plays always going like this yeah. and making all kinds yeah. of they, they they have a name for that, a hypochondria or something yeah. like that. Right. But I don't think he was, you know. I don't think he was. He either. had an accident. He had a, a, an automobile accident and ever since he was, you know. But <laughs> for a batting champion, 12 gold gloves, I don't know. I don't know if you know who Chichi Rodriguez is. Oh, of course, the great golfer, Chichi <laughs> Rodriguez. Yes. But Chichi Rodriguez, he got a, a very good sense of humor. Chichi Rodriguez and, and Clemente used to play for the same team in Puerto Rico. So Chichi was telling us at one time that, <laughs> that the manager benched Clemente to, and played him. <laughs> and then he said, that's how much that manager knew about baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Give yeah. us your home run call in Spanish. Batazo largo, largo por el lefil, la bola tomando altura. Adiosito Coto Laurel, honrón el batazo. Se fue para el otro lado. That's my call. The voice of the Yard Goats on Spanish speaking radio, Danny Rodriguez. Danny, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you very much. Bye.